Christian Hansen has been able to take fermentation in this ancient technique to preserve food and applying it in new ways. And we really see a really big interest in finding natural solutions to fight food waste. So I think when you really dive into the magic of the power of good bacteria, you fall in love. That's at least what I've done. Christian Hansen was founded about 150 years ago with the promise to find natural solutions to some of the world's greatest challenges within food and agriculture. And we are looking into a future where we see our customers wanting more sustainable solutions from farm to fork. We are specialists in the field of, um, of live bacteria. That can mean bacteria for fermenting milk into yogurt, for ripening a cheese, maturing a salami, fermenting wine, but also probiotics that we take as, as supplements as humans and animals to keep us healthy. Our vision is to continue to, to develop and to improve uh, this technology for, for live bacteria and also find wider and wider applications where it can uh, be beneficial. So at Christian Hansen, we have four values that we live by. The first is we rely on each other. The second is we have freedom to act. The other two core values are a bit bigger in scope. The first is we deliver results. And the last, and what makes me very proud to work at Christian Hansen, is the value of we work for a better world. When we consider the science of microbiology, 30, 40 years ago, the rule was kill germs, disinfection. Our focus is now around trying to find those good bacteria that when consumed, confer a benefit to their host a demonstrable benefit that relates to their health, longevity, and well-being. We all need and want uh, fresh food. Chemical preservatives are added to increase the, the storage time, but chemicals also can have side effects. So we add probiotics as a natural solution for preservation. And actually one third of all food is wasted because we throw it away, but often you don't need to throw it out because the, the food still is fresh but you don't know and you don't feel safe about it. So using natural bacteria can increase the time you, the, the food is fresh and we decrease the waste. And here we actually also use robots uh, because it's, it's nothing to have 40,000 strains if you don't know what these strains are doing. So we characterize them, we generate a lot of data uh, for these 40,000 strains, facts and functionalities that are important for, for human health or for, for animal health. And it's a very repetitive work. So here we also improve the working quality by, by having robots. The UN Global Goals for Sustainable Development have been really important for Christian Hansen. I think they provide a really good framework for companies that want to work with sustainability because here it becomes really concrete. That's what we've done in Christian Hansen, really integrated into our corporate strategy, setting specific targets for, for example, that we want more than 80% of our revenue to support the UN Global Goals, but also having very specific product-related targets to integrate it into our daily practices. We have uh, converted all our electricity in uh, Denmark to uh, renewable sources, and we have an ambition by 2025 to have uh, all energy coming from renewable sources. We are also working to establish what is called the science-based climate target because we want to be sure that the Christian Hansen does not contribute to global warming more than the 1.5 degrees Celsius that the scientists are recommending us to do. We use the phrase that effective probiotics support normal. What we mean by that is if you are in the business of producing animals for food, the best day in the world would be a day when all the animals in your care are healthy and performing normally. The action of probiotics is to support normal functions of the gut, digestion, absorption, the barrier functions, and immune functions that will allow you to grow at an expected rate, to defend yourself against challenges from your environment, in other words, to be normal. And the greater percentage of animals that are normal in any herd lot, flow, or flock, the better the returns for the producer and the more efficiently you can convert feed to food for people. If you think about it, 100 years ago, an American household would spend half their income on food, where today they spend about 10%. A large part of that actually comes from the whole food industry becoming more efficient. 
Sustainability means a lot of things to different people. It can be you know, the welfare of the animals, it can be how the animals are impacting the environment, the soil that they're raised on, the additives that is used in the feed to raise the animals. A lot of this push actually goes into a less economical direction, meaning that we'll end up with higher cost. We contribute to that by providing technology, so these live bacteria that can actually help reduce the use of an antibiotics um, in the feed. When you look at Christian Hansen's history, our products have been produced in a remarkably sustainable way. And a lot of our revenue is generated in green revenue that is recognized by the United Nations. For the last three years in a row, we have been honored by receiving award as the most sustainable biotech company in the world. We believe in order for potential consumers to make an informed decision, it's our responsibility to foster their education. So we have a program that allows them to learn about the modes of action of effective probiotics in the privacy of their own home at their own pace if they had a better understanding of how these organisms work, then they can make a more informed choice about the products they may choose to use. Another challenge I see uh, related to that is most often the nutritionists who take the decisions on what feed additives to add to the feed to give them the information they need to make these decisions. Quite often they cannot see it in the production, so they need to rely on information and data that we give them. We are in a field where a lot of companies are promising a lot of things. The nutritionists, they know that. So that's another challenge to actually get the information to the nutritionists that they need. I believe there will be more and more focus on bacteria. Today we're using them for probiotics and more than one billion people are consuming Christian Hansen products today. We are using bacteria for cleaning soil, for cleaning water, and I think there will be more applications coming up. We have also set more targeted goals that relate, for example, to food waste. We want to be sure that by 2025 that the food waste within yogurt is actually reduced by 2 million tons. We also have an ambition to enhance plant health, which is a natural way to reduce the use of pesticides. And by 2025, we want to cover 25 million hectares of land with our natural plant health solutions. We work for a better world, and I don't know of anything more noble than being involved in providing solutions for food production for the globe.